Welcome back to a flight attendant vlog. It is currently 3.10 a.m. and it's so early. I actually woke up 20 minutes ago. I did everything I had to do last night. This is just an ungodly hour. Nobody should be awake at this time. I'm starting a three-day trip today. If you're new to my channel, I am Miami-based. However, we do occasionally start trips out of Fort Lauderdale. So luckily for me, Fort Lauderdale Airport is the closest to where I live. So that's a good thing. This early in the morning, I have to be at the airport today at 4 a.m., which is in like 49 minutes minutes from now. I don't get back until Sunday night. Kind of a long trip. It's also a lot of hours, flying a lot, multiple flights per day. I normally like to do one or two flights a day. This is going to be like three flights per day. But you know what? I need the coin. So I got my lunchbox there ready to go. Also, I got to pack some of these in my lunchbox as well. I found these on TikTok. Pretty good. I'm just going to take them all. It's three days. Throw it over here. Also, I'm really going to need this coffee. water for hydration. This is pretty good. I put ice in this last night before bed and it's still ice cold. It's a helping this gives me energy. It's a double espresso. Also, I cooked some food last night so I can eat on my trip and I don't have to spend money every single day. I basically just made Trader Joe's orange chicken. My protein brownies. I can stick my creatine in here. My tablet. These protein bars are also pretty good too. I'll take a couple of these. 3.17 a.m. So tired. Ready to go. I put on my glasses to drive. Goodbye home. See you in two and a half days. It is 3.26 a.m. I'm running kind of late. Probably because I'm vlogging and I probably should not be vlogging right now. But yeah. I have to go to the employee parking, which is literally like 10 minutes away from where I live. So that will not take me too long at this time in the morning. All right. I made it. It's 3.40. I gotta say, yes, waking up at this time in the morning is so hard, but it's so worth it. There's no one on the road, no traffic. It was just so nice. Just made it to the terminal at exactly 4.01 a.m. All right, it's 4.04 a.m. and I am now heading to my gate. So I just landed in Dallas. The flight was pretty bumpy getting here. Now we have an hour and a half in between flights. And no, we do not get paid for that one hour and a half in between flights that we're sitting here. Keep that in mind. If you want to be a flight attendant. Welcome to Nashville. This is my hotel room. I have a full kitchen here. Actually, it's not really full kitchen because there's no oven. But I do have a little stove. I have a big refrigerator, microwave, dishwasher. I have like plates and real utensils. A big living space, TV, the sofa, king size bed, a view of the parking lot, a bathroom over here. Current time is 11.08. I started working this morning at four in the morning, so I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna take a nap, maybe, gym, maybe. You know, as a flight attendant, you always say you're gonna go to the gym, and then most of the time, you'd never make it to the gym. I'm not speaking for all flight attendants, but for most of us. And then later today, I'm gonna treat myself to Hattie B's chicken. It's like really famous fried chicken here in uh, Nashville, so I'm gonna get that later. I am now in the hotel gym. Can you guys hear the country music? Good thing I have my headphones. All right guys, I just left Hattie Beats Chicken. It is Friday night and it was jam packed in there. Roads are wet, it's been raining all day. This is perfect napping weather for me. I pretty much napped most of the day, but now this was literally what I've been looking forward to all day long. Some dessert, which was free by the way, because I signed up for the rewards program, so they gave it to me for free. You guys know that I love me some condiments, so I had to order extra condiments. It was 50 cents for extra condiments, which I guess is not too bad. Hattie beads, utensils. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I love me some chicken tendies. And that's exactly what I got, some chicken tendies. How good do these look? And they're huge too with the crinkle cut fries. I got a Coke Zero. I'm gonna watch something on Netflix. Life is good. Our van time tomorrow morning is at 4.10 a.m. I probably am gonna wake up at 3.30. Another early morning tomorrow. <laughs> 4.01 a.m. 
1 a.m. I got about six hours of sleep. Today we have three flights, so today is when the hard part of the trip starts. Yesterday was pretty easy. Today is kind of hard because it's long. We don't get done until about 4 o'clock p.m. in Charlotte, and it's 4 a.m. right now, so that's like 12 hours from now. Our first flight of the day is going to be Nashville, where I am now, to Charlotte. I don't know how long that flight is, maybe like an hour, and then we're flying Charlotte to Nassau, Bahamas, and then Nassau, Bahamas, back to Charlotte, and that makes for a long day. But if you guys know me, you know that I'm not used to doing three flights a day. For this trip, I'm sucking it up. You know, sometimes you just have to suck it up. It's really good money for this trip. It's a lot of hours. Also, fun fact, yesterday we were on an Airbus 321. Today, we're on the Boeing 737. Sometimes you get to fly on different airplanes, and that's what's going on today, and then tomorrow we go back to the Airbus again. Tomorrow is the last day of our trip, 4.03. I have to be downstairs in seven minutes. I will talk to you guys later. Alright, we switched planes here in Charlotte. We're now boarding our aircraft that's going to take us to Nassau and then back here to Charlotte later today. Back in Charlotte. Never in my 16 years of flying have I ever had to stop and get gas <laughs> on, the, on the way to the hotel. This is wild. This, when we went <laughs> if you're wondering, it cost $73 and 21 gallons to fill up this big sprinter van. <laughs> This is my hotel room here in Charlotte. So today I was on duty for 10 hours, but we were only getting paid for six hours. So you're probably wondering why are you only getting paid for six hours, but you were on duty for 10? Because six hours was the amount of time that we were actually flying and while the airplane was moving, we don't get paid in between flights. We don't get paid during boarding. So there's a lot of time that we are on duty, but we're not getting paid. However, we are fighting for our new contract to have boarding pay. So that'll be good once that happens. Local time, 3.49. Thank God tomorrow morning we don't have to be up that early our pickup is at 10 a.m. this is my view here in Charlotte so I just put on some gym clothes just so I can force myself to go to the gym I definitely need to take a nap first though while I'm napping I'm gonna use my hot logic to warm up my food so if you've never heard me talk about hot logic this is not sponsored by the way I highly suggest this for anyone who well I definitely suggest it for flight attendants really for anyone who's on the go and doesn't have access to a microwave like this hotel room for instance doesn't have a microwave so this is like a hot plate I put my food in there leave it for maybe an hour i'm gonna let that heat up while i'm napping i got my little heating blanket here it was so nice and warm this hotel room is a little cold so i plugged my heating blanket in i got this one on amazon i'll link the hot logic warming plate down below for my amazon highly recommend i've been using it for years now and then i'll link this little heating blanket right here i put it on my legs <laughs> it keeps me warm as a flight attendant you learn these little things to make yourself comfortable while you're on the road and this is one of them. Three hours later. I made it to the gym and I'm proud of myself that I came because normally I would have just stayed in bed after that nap that I took. I was real cozy with my with my heated blanket, but here I am, proud of myself. I gotta say these three day trips are getting a little too long for me. I much prefer my two day trips, which I used to do. And then all of a sudden I just started doing three day trips again. Now I remember why I started doing two day trips because I enjoy my job a lot more. It's not that I don't enjoy the job. I do enjoy the job, but now after doing this for so many years, I kind of just want to be home as much as possible. So two day trips is perfect for me. Unless it's like a Europe trip, then three days is good just because you, you kind of leave late on the first day. And I'm just trying to maximize my time at home. I'm about to eat this protein bar that I got from Trader Joe's. So Salty peanut, kind of close to what a Snickers bar would taste like, but not quite as delicious. <laughs> Time is now 9.33. I'm gonna shower, get into bed, and just relax the rest of the night. It is go home day. It is 9.45 in the morning. I gotta be downstairs in 15 minutes to head to the airport. We're ready for on duty time and how much we're getting paid? On duty for 10 hours, getting paid five hours and 37 minutes. 
Yes. In between our second and last flight today, we're gonna have two hours and 30 minutes in the airport, sitting around, doing nothing, waiting for our next flight. So that time in the airport, we're not getting paid. But on a brighter note, we're heading home today. I'm just catching up on some below deck right here. Oh, and it's Super Bowl Sunday. So happy Super Bowl Sunday if you watch. I don't watch, I don't really care about the Super Bowl. This is the first. So many firsts on this truck. trip. <laughs> Pickup truck <laughs> to the airport. Do you need me to come up? No, you're good. It is the go home leg, and we are not full. We have like a hundred open seats. Super Bowl party! Super Bowl party! <laughs> I am back in my car. Three day trip is over. I'm heading now to pick up my dog, Mia, who is currently with her other dad. Yeah, I'm so excited to see her. I can't believe it's been three days that I've been gone. Now I'm off for three and a half days. Today is Sunday night. The Super Bowl is currently happening as we speak. It is Sunday night and I don't go back to work until Thursday evening. Oh my goodness, who is that angel girl? Who is that sweet little angel? Hi, mommy. Oh my goodness. Hi, mama. Why does she smell like Ritz crackers? Hello. I am finally back home, as you can see. You happy to be back home, little girl? Yeah? <laughs> I forgot I left these out the morning that I left. I normally like to put everything away, back where they belong, but it was early in the morning. I actually just took Mia to go see my mom. So if you saw my last video, I talked about how I had to take my mom to the emergency room because she's been having like mobility issues and walking issues. The, the issues have been getting a lot worse. So I had to take her to the hospital and she was in the hospital for like four nights, four or five nights. We're trying to figure out what's going on with her, her legs, why they're not, basically they're like not working anymore. They're very, very weak. So I've been dealing with that. So anyways, I decided I wanted to take Mia to go visit my mom since she hadn't seen her in a while. But that is what's going going on in my life at the moment. Last month it was Mia, this month it's my mom. Fingers crossed for a positive outcome. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, share this video, leave me some comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.